Yeah, yeah, Israel, no doubt. Let me say this uh, to all of the family of Destroy uh, Um We are in, in particular times right now. 400 years has been accomplished. I don't give a damn uh, if we did, if we misunderstood what the prophecy Abram, Abraham gave in the 15th chapter of Genesis as being uh, pertaining to this captivity. If we were wrong, that will not disannul the fact that we have done 400 years. That ain't, there's nothing's going to take away from that fact. So I'm sitting here thinking the other day, I'm sitting here thinking, saying, damn, well, wait a minute. If the father, uh, if the father waits 30 more years, we will have done 430 years. Hmm. Does that ring a bell? Because now right here in Exodus 12 chapter, it tells us, and the Lord said unto Moses and Aaron, uh, uh, this is the ordinance of the Passover. This is when the father gave the Passover to Moses and Aaron for the children of Israel. I'm going to go up to 41. It says, and it came to pass at the end of the 430 years, even the selfsame day it came to pass that all the hosts of the Lord went out from the land of bondage, Egypt. So, uh, 430 years was how long we had been in, 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 uh, in captivity or whatever you want to say in Egypt, in the in, in the house of bondage. All right. Well, <clears throat> Abraham, in the 15th chapter of Genesis, he said, let's get it right quick. Genesis 15, he said, uh, 15 and 12, he said, and when the sun was going down, a deep sleep fell on a, upon Abram, and lo, and the horror of great darkness fell upon him. And he said, the Most High said, Unto Abram, know of a surety that thy seed shall be a stranger in thy in the in a land that is not theirs. That's what he's saying to the seed of Abraham. And shall serve them. And they who there's who who, there's, who, who the, these Hebrews are serving shall afflict the Hebrews four hundred years. So, in <clears throat> when 19 was over with, we perceived it to be that the 400 years was completed. Well, surely now we'll throw another year in there, we to the end of this motherfucker. Uh, that surely does it. If we don't, if we don't want to count the years up, put it, put it out on a sheet of paper and try to count, is them four, where is the 400th year? Is it in... Uh, 19 or does it happen after 20? Well, all of that's behind us in a minute. So, it's my understanding that because we did 430 years already, if the Heavenly Father does not make his way back uh, to scoop up the children of Israel, we will have done 430 years again. I'm having a trouble with this because uh, the scripture don't say we're doing 430 twice. We already did it once. We just read it here in the 12th chapter of Gem, in a 12th chapter of Exodus. So we already did 430. Nowhere in the scripture do it say that that's going to happen again. Abraham spoke of us doing 400 though so um you know if anybody want to call talk you got some understanding that I don't have or none of the other brothers have because I've taken it to them because we live in interesting times the in what's interesting is that 
shit. We done done, we've done completed the 400 years that Abraham was talking about. And nowhere in the scripture do it say we're going to spend time in bondage twice for 430 years. So if the father's not here in within the next 30 years, then we would have done 430 twice. Where is that scripture that says we're going to spend another 430 after the one we already completed in the first house of bondage? That's what I'm trying to figure out, people. Think on this shit. I mean, if I could, I would will the Heavenly Father to... Uh, Give the order and send Hamashag back right here, right today. But certainly, I would, I would have so have him do so before confusion sets in, cause I'm confused at how we could, if the father waits more than thirty years, we will have done four hundred thirty years twice, and that ain't what the scripture says. All right, Israel. 313-588-1423. 313-588-1423. Anybody hit it up. You know what time it is.